Nikki Rhodes, and I am here with Hi C Mag, and of course, Mr. Seymour Butt. How are you today, darling? Doing great. How are you doing, Nikki? I'm doing well. Good. A little hot outside, but yeah, we'll huh? have to take some hot pictures. Yeah, well, it, got, it seemed to get hotter the closer you got. I know, especially mm -hmm. when my top came off. Mm hmm. I didn't. Your top came off? I didn't even notice. What a gentleman. <laughs> well, a little birdie told me that you wrote a book. I did. You did? I did. I wrote a book. It's called Rock Her World. Ooh. And it is uh, subtitled the, the Sex Guide for the Modern Man. And, you know, basically the way it came about was over, over the, the 15 or so years that I've been involved in this business, I have received, you know, countless letters and now since the internet emails mm -hmm. uh, from people all over the place that have asked me questions. Um, about sex, you know, all kinds of questions about sex. Uh, you know, everybody has different issues, and you know, to be absolutely honest with you, I got a little tired of responding to those individuals, each each and every one of them. So I thought to myself, you know, you could probably do this a better way if you put all these answers together into a book. Very true. And, you know, and um, and so that's basically what I did. Is I I, I wrote a book answering the thousands of questions that I have gotten over the years and, and, and hopefully it covers the spectrum. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's information for beginners uh, to, to the advanced super studs also will be able to get something out of this book as well. Will women be able to get some helpful hints? Well, you know, I think that, I, I think where, where women come in is, well, first of all, let me just tell you that it's not only just an instructional book. <laughs> it's, it's part instructional book and part memoir of my life. So, you know, from that perspective, I think anybody that has any kind of interest in um, my life might be interested in reading the book. But aside from that, um, you know, I think it gives women an insight into, into men in a different way than they'd get possibly from a book written for them. Gotcha. So I think it's, I think a, a smart woman would read the book and know that although it's not necessarily going to be discussing things directly to her, that peripherally, <laughs> big word, huh? <laughs> peripherally, uh, there will be some, some benefits for them. And of course, look, you know, like I say, uh, my last Twitter was, um, ladies, uh, you only get one vagina, make sure it's treated with the tender, loving care it deserves. Buy him my book. There you go. That's a great uh, gift. I mean, come on now. Well, if you think about it from a woman's perspective, not only is she being, able, she's she's actually giving, but she is going to be in the end, receiving. no pun no pun intended, of course, receiving yes. I like yes. that. I hope I get that. For <laughs> I hope somebody puts it in my little stocking. Well, I think <laughs> I think it, I think it would make a great stocking stuffer, and um, you know, I'm really excited. It's my first book, and it took me it took me over a year. To, uh, to you know, almost two years actually to write and, and you know get it all together and, and, and organized and um, I bet it was a bit tedious at times. Yes, mm -hmm. many late nights. <laughs> and I'm not much of a you know I'm a hunt and peck typer, mm. one finger. So I decided that 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 process was way too slow. So I you know I write. So I have to write and then it's transcribed by my assistant. And then I have to then review the transcription because I have to make sure that she was able to read what I wrote properly. Of course. So it's really, it's been, it's been kind of, I probably made it a longer process than I needed to. But you wanted it done right. But I wanted it done right, That's and I can't type for shit. Those are the, yeah, those are the two, two issues that I had. But you know, I think, I wish, when I would, I wish somebody had given me this book. Like, I wrote the book that I wish somebody had given me when I was a young man. That's that, important. Yeah, I think it is. Well, you know, first of all, you know, sex education in school is not not like a priority. No. And the stuff that they are talking to you about is really they talk to you about the consequences and ramifications of sex, as opposed to the actual how to. Exactly. You know, and uh, the the techniques and and etc., which is the kind of things that I discuss in the book. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, exciting! I can't wait to. Although I do, of course, talk about the consequences because people have to know that, that you know, oh, sex is a very important. I mean, it's a very, it's a serious issue, and it shouldn't be treated lightly, no matter what. And uh, there's always.
always consequences if it's not if it's not treated with the respect it deserves. Right? Yeah. But it can be a lot of fun too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when uh, is the book going to be released? The book is coming out November twelfth, just in time for Christmas, and of course, um, you know. Thanksgiving as well. Not a lot of people yeah. give presents on Thanksgiving, but I, I think that it's a perfect Thanksgiving present yeah, if you yeah. think about it. You know, Thanksgiving, giving pleasure. Exactly. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Love it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, where can we get the book when it comes out? So, where can we uh, get your book when it does come out? Online? Well, Still? yeah. Actually, you're going to be able to get it um, at pretty much any major book retailer that there is. I mean, Amazon.com, online, Borders.com, Barnes and & Nobles, and then, of course, in all the stores. Nice. Are you going to be doing a signing? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be doing some signings as well. We're just actually discussing that with... Um, it's being published by Gotham Books, nice. so all that kind of stuff is being handled by Gotham Publicity. Okay. And um, so we're just actually coordinating that right now. I know that I'm going to be making an appearance at the... Um, in San Francisco at the Exotic Erotic Ball, Very nice. uh, and at towards the end of October. So that's really the only thing that I have down right now. Um, but I'm sure that the schedule is going to get busier as the book release gets closer. Gotcha. Yeah. How can your fans keep up to date with uh, what's going on with you and your book? Do you have a Twitter? You I Twitter? twit. I'm a twit. Yeah. I'm a twatter. What's your little uh, twatter sign? Uh, <laughs> see more butts. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no space like in between, that? just S-E-Y-M-O-R-E-B-U-T-T-S, Seymour Butts, you can find me easy. Easy enough. And I'm on MySpace as well, Seymour, nice. uh, Seymour, MySpace dot, uh, dot com slash, front slash Seymour Butts, right? Is that the way it works? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, SeymourButts.com. I was just actually told by Facebook that I'm not worthy. Yeah, they don't like me either. They don't They're like you either? They're a little anti Yeah, Facebook just, people. they just exterminated me. Which is okay, it's Facebook's loss to be absolutely honest. <laughs> Facebook is kind of boring, it's usually just for people to catch up with old friends. That's what I found, a lot of old friends have caught up with me on Facebook. Yeah. It's like, yo, Seymour, <laughs> I haven't seen you since third grade. Like, uh... Wow. Probably there's a reason for that, buddy. <laughs> um. Well, that's great. And I do appreciate you taking the time to uh, do this interview and also let us shoot. Oh no! It was my it was it was my pleasure. And I got to meet you finally. And uh, I've heard a lot one. about you. You have well, mm -hmm. probably only half of it's true. I bet. <laughs> I guess I'll have to read the book to find out. Exactly, which half is true? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>